Hey guys, this is Spinmaster. Time for Tops 81. Anticipated games coming from E3 2014. Okay, before I go even further, I'm gonna tell you this. Now, yes, I have made a video on on anticipated games. However, I only did it, um, remade it for last year. However, any new anticipated games tops I'm gonna make are gonna be its own tops episode. So I'm not gonna go remake Tops 13 all over again. All right, so yeah, E3. That was a thing. That was pretty cool. So, yeah, as you know, that I only own Nintendo stuff. So only stuff from Nintendo's, um, you know, stuff are gonna be in this video. Also, I'm gonna mention a few things uh, that are not gonna be on this list at all. One, Project Steam. Now, uh, for her Nintendo in this Twitter account saying that that um, the new 3DS IP is going to be a uh, a, stra a strategy RPG from Intelligent Systems. The moment I I read that, I was like, yes, I want that. Until it turns out it's going to be Project Steam and all the stuff that's going to be involved in Project Steam. I think like, well, that, that that was that was the quickest way to kill my interest. So Project Steam will not be in it, despite the gameplay being of of a you know a genre I'm really like, but Everything else is going to be no. No thanks. Also, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I don't like Xenoblade Chronicles. I don't, I don't understand why people like it so much. So, no way I'm getting it, its uh, successor. Uh, one more thing. Uh, what was it? Theater, okay, Theater Rid of Final Fantasy Curtain Call. Uh, now, as much as I like Final Fantasy and like to have a lot of his characters be in one game at one time, but the fact that it's this, I, I don't know. I, I, if I want to have, you know, all my favorite Final Fantasy characters all, you know, going at once, battling together, at least it be a freaking RPG, not a rhythm RPG, whatever. So no thanks for that. Uh, so if I don't think I have anything else to say, so let's get started. Ten Yoshi's Woolly World. That was hard to hard to pick because I um, only had nine spots for uh, my anticipated game. So the tenth has to um, be something that you know doesn't kill my interest. So yeah, for Yoshi's Woolly World, it's I don't know because um it. I don't know, it's like Yoshi, like Yoshi's Story, Yoshi's Island, but without the baby Mario. So uh, it's kind of cool to have a Yoshi game just himself, uh, and be in the style of uh, you know Kirby's Epic Yarn. I mean, Bro and I skipped out on Kirby's Epic Yarn. However, um, we, when um, both saw Game Grunts play it and I saw Troy Connor make his LP of it, um, there's no real need to play that anymore. It's there you go. But uh, for the new Yoshi game. I don't know, it's pretty cool, especially as, um, you know, uh, two-player co-op, and there's the stuff you can do with the co-op. That's, that's pretty cool. So, um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. It's, it, I mean, it, yes, it's a Yoshi game, but, uh, the art style is actually pretty, you know, interesting, so to say. But, uh, gameplay, I'm not telling you sure. Uh, how anticipated I am for this game? Not much, to be honest, but I don't even know. I don't see if I better want it or not, but otherwise, eh. Number nine, Fossil Fighters Frontier. What the heck is that, you may ask? Okay, so, get this. So you gotta excavate uh, dinosaur fossils to you know, resurrect dinosaurs and make them do battle. So it's basically Pokemon was just dinosaurs with some elements of, you know, uh, dinosaur ex excavation and exploration stuff. So I, I find that pretty, the concept of that pretty cool. Um, but really the main reason, why I want to uh, anticipate for this game is because I played Fossil Fighters Champions, and that was a pretty awesome game. I actually did really like that. So, having to play another one, yeah, I really want some of that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be online modes, or I don't know if it's going to be anything, but uh, it's definitely something that I'm pretty, pretty, I really like to play. Uh, how to anticipate for this game? 
quite a bit actually. Uh, this is pretty, uh, you know, just something that I really uh, just like. But uh, really, if I were to take it over anything else, nah, I probably would. Um, I would probably like, if, if I need to save money, then I probably won't get this. But uh, if I have a lot of money to spare, which I usually don't, I might get this too. The answer here is obvious. Objection! Eight, Layton versus Wright. Finally! Jeez, it took forever and a half for that thing to uh, get North American release. I mean, you guys are lucky European guys that so you get the experience of the game already, but here in America, not so much. So, uh, yeah, this is something I really like to play, because uh, Bruce uh, played quite a bit, quite a little bit of, um, Caressa Layton, and I have quite a lot of Ace Attorney. So, yeah, there you go, just having a, both of them there. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Just having two of the coolest, uh, two, um, two really smart characters all in one game, as pretty much sharing a lot of the, the game, but was mo what I heard is mostly Layton, but, um, yeah, the gameplay is mostly latent in his uh, puzzle stuff, and then the, and the uh, Ace Attorney stuff will come, you know, when they come. I mean, I don't mind that, but, uh, I mean, I'm, yeah, you know, I don't mind puzzle games, I don't want uh, all this stuff with, uh, latent puzzles. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely something I would definitely like. Uh, how anticipated I am for it? Uh, actually, I think it's more or less anticipated and more, finally, sheesh! Just, it took forever for them to show up. But here they are. That's what I have to say after this game. Seven Fantasy Life. That is something, it's up my alley. This is definitely that gets up my alley. I don't care if it doesn't have any online modes. I just want to play this. So, um, what you have here is uh, kind of an action RPG of sorts. But, um, yeah, kind of action RPG of sorts. And, um, you know, get to choose what class you want. And not classes that include, like, um, like a fight, like a, you know, a sword wielder, a bow wielder. Uh, you can also, uh, be a woodcutter, a miner, or whatever, or even, or even a guy like um, guy that makes uh, makes weapons. Uh, I forgot, what, I forgot what you call them, but um, yeah, that's the kind of gets totally up my alley, especially because I played RuneScape before. So yeah, based on that, I would definitely want to play some of that, some of that fantasy life. And plus, the logo is a moon. There you go. Uh, how to spend for this game? Heck. Probably more so than, than the six in this list, because um, yeah, with six in this list, there's a good reason why I want it. But um, I'm actually more excited for that than number six. Um, so yeah, that's definitely it. So let's move on to six. Splatoon! Man, like, when I saw Splatoon, I was like, what the heck did I just watch? I mean, you, I mean, you probably feel the same way, too. Because this is weird. You got shooter, you got third person shooter, but your goal is not to kill people, but rather to basically paintball and just, like, cover the entire area in your paint. The heck? So... Yeah, this is definitely one take of third-person shooter that I'm up for. So, and I guess aside from Kid Icarus, so far to be another third-person shooter I might consider playing um, for online. So, yeah, considering, yeah, um, how weird some of the games I have are, like with Kid Icarus or, or whatever sports game I'm playing at the time, or uh, Pokemon Mario Kart, that's Splatoon here, which is like, hey, it's Splatoon! 
So I thought we want to play that for uh, uh for online. Anticipate for this game? Not as much as another seven on the list, but it's pretty up there. And considering um how much of the list is Wii U exclusive, which I eat not much, then yeah, I was never like really up for that. But I, I still wonder about the price tag though. It's gonna be sixty bucks for it. I might need to save a lot more money for it than then the anticipation will be killed off. But uh yeah, it's definitely something I like to try for online. Number five, MH4U. Holy cow, this thing. So, um, yeah, not, not um, now that the Japan's uh, updating Monster Hunter 4, we could get their update. However, the problem is we're not, uh, US not coming Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, mostly because of, like what I said, the um, the update, which is going to be uh, Monster Hunter 4 G in Japan. Uh, so I guess not that I don't mind it that much. But hey, we should still get Monster Hunter. So there we go. Great Monster Hunter, I I'm happy. So, considering how many hours I put into Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, I bet that um, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate will take quite a lot of time off my 3DS. Probably not as much as Animal Crossing or as Pokemon, but it's gonna be it's gonna be up there. Uh, I really enjoyed Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate uh, at all the times I played it. I haven't played it as much anymore, so I'm ready to get used to it once I start playing again. Mostly because like uh, I'm almost regretting not getting the 3DS version instead. But the, considering that uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate was the first Wii U game I have, aside from Nintendo Land, then yeah, get, having that special was the main reason for my Wii U when I got it. So, yeah, it's that good of a game. So, yeah, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. It's, it just looks pretty awesome on the, on the um, you know, having an idea of 3 yes. I'm not sure if I'm going to make videos of it. Because, uh, uh, with... Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, like, the excuse was that, um, because I, uh, my Dazzle, it, my Dazzle on my computer, whatever, uh, doesn't really can like picking up a lot of action, because it just draws frames pretty easily when it comes to action. Um, with the, so I don't have, I don't have a capture board, so I can't, I'm not, like, gonna get good quality for it, but we'll see how, how, if I decide to make, uh, videos of Edge for you, I don't even know. Next. Yep, this again. Come on now, like, once you see like there's a, a trailer for it from E3, you know this is gonna be in there. It just has to be in there. So, yeah, Shantae the Pirate's Curse. Um, I still can't, I could, even like last year they announced it. Like, the fact that I had an um, E3 trailer, it still counts here. But, uh, yeah, this is still something I really can't wait to play. Uh, but really the E3 trailer is meant so that, uh, yes, it's not going to be a 3 exclusive, it's going to be 3 and Wii U. So, now that, uh, Sh Pirates Curse is going to be on the Wii U, I'm still going to get the 3DS version because I already have two Shantae's on my 3DS. And since Half Junior Hero isn't done yet, um, it's going to be my third out of three Shantae's on my 3DS. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um... Uh, I don't even want to say anything much more, because it just... I like Shantae, you know? I like the character, I like the game, I like the settings, everything. It's, it's amazing. Like, everything. And plus, Shantae's a pirate now. I like pirates, I like Shantae. There you go. So, that's it, okay, next. Warriors! 
Now, I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to explain of it, considering that I'm going to never talk about it for po Crazy Pokecast. But, uh, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, it combines uh, The Legend of Zelda, which I don't really play that much. Even though I have um, Wind Waker from the whole Market 8 thing, I haven't touched it at all. And you might think, and for those who follow my Miiverse uh, comments, what the heck? But wait, if you don't play your um, Wind Waker at all, then what's with the Wind Waker related um, Miiverse post? Those are actually from my brother's uh, file, because he's the one who's actually playing the game. Uh, and same thing with um, Link's Awakening through this whole thing last year, the um, Nintendo thing. Uh, yeah, I haven't really touched I, I started it, but I haven't touched it since, because I got got stuck in the beginning. Should probably go watch Shark Connery's Let's Play event again to make sure I know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, but that's pretty much what uh, me and the Legend of Zelda in a nutshell. Because I haven't played that many, that many Zeldas. I, it's weird, because I have a lot of Zelda games. Uh, for my Wii Virtual Console, I have Majora's Mask. For uh, I have um, the thing of uh, Four Swords on 3DS, even though I've already beaten before, but uh, it's only because, well, multiplayer is really good. Uh, I don't, I have Link's Awakening, I have, I think I still have, um, Twilight Princess, I think I still have Twilight Princess. Uh, yeah, I still have Twilight Princess, but, um, uh, I haven't touched it for a long time, I haven't beaten it. So it's kind of weird. And I don't, and I don't have, a uh, Wars of Adventures anymore, so. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of me and Zelda. But combine that, let's say, with, hi with um, Dynasty Wars and its spin-offs. Well, let's just say this. I really want to play Dynasty Warriors and spin-offs since Pokemon Conquest. Because remember um, the Pokemon Conquest? The character designs from it are based off like some Dynasty Warriors spin-off. I forgot what it was. Uh, and when I did saw gameplay of it, it looks pretty cool. It looks something uh, I, I would like to play. Just a hack and slash to all different uh, armies and stuff. So, putting them together is pretty cool. Uh, so definitely another Tecmo Koe um, Tokoi like collaboration with Nintendo, I would definitely want to play. Uh, how to anticipate for it? Believe it or not, not much as Shantae. <laughs> so with with Shantae, you like you all know since like quite deep in the last year, well not deep in the last year, but uh, since that last year, Carl Chow got to play Shantae. But uh, with Hyrule Warriors, definitely uh, something I really want to play, but uh, not to anticipate as Shantae. And uh, and for you, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe equally. Anyway, let's start going on to 2 and 1, which you probably know by now what it is, considering what I haven't said yet. Pokemon games Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I'll be getting po um, Pokemon Omega Ruby mostly because I have um, my preferred file is Ruby, so I'll be taking that. Okay, so Pokemon. What do you say more about Pokemon? It's my main thing. Stuff Marker is my main thing on my channel, so you should know by now that I like Pokemon. Uh, I don't need to say more. It just is. It's just, just Pokemon. Uh, new Mega Evolutions, I don't care, I want to see, see all the rest of Mega Evolutions, because I don't care about Sceptile, Swampert, or uh, Sableye, so I can't really say much about them. Uh, you know, new uh, quote-unquote Mega Calgar and Groudon, yeah, whatever. But uh, the definitely thing I like so far is uh, Team Mega Team Aqua, how they change their designs. You know, we're thinking that, um, especially like uh, Team Aqua, or Team Aqua a lot better even from Gen 3, uh, that would pick Sapphire, but no, I actually like Pokemon Root, I like a uh, more, like, destroying the crowd out of, of the team that's going to, you know, based on fire or earth or lava. You got earth, the team based on lava. So, there you go. I don't like Team Aqua that much, but I like Team Aqua pick a lot. It would be pretty cool. Uh, I'll just say this briefly. It would be pretty cool if um, the cus character customization occurs and you can get a um, kind of like a, I, I don't know, um, a costume based off Team Magma or Team Aqua. Or better, Team Aqua and Team Aqua. That would be pretty awesome. 
But they're going to just a team him because I team him. Awesome. All right, so uh, it's Pokemon enough said. Let's move on to the one thing I have not mentioned yet, and you know what it is because I haven't mentioned it. Smash 4. That's when I super Smash Brothers 4, 3S and Wii U. In that order. <laughs> well, yeah, in that order. Because um, the 3S is coming first, um, not summer, and the Wii U has yet to be delayed. So hopefully that stays not delayed. <laughs> okay. It's Smash Brothers. Uh, I, if you haven't seen the my video of me on Smash Fest, go watch that. Um, also, I, I don't know if you've seen it yet, because uh, I've already... Said it, said it on my Skype and Twitter that uh, someone recorded a match with me in it. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna post um, the description or somewhere around here the, the the match I was. So yeah, go watch that. It's pretty awesome on how I still am pretty good with Zelda despite with a controller I'm not used to. So there you go. So yeah, Smash 4 is pushed the it's probably gonna be the anticipated game. Like for with you know stuff with um Sony with Sony Microsoft like Sony like Destiny and with Xbox is whatever Halo is. So or yeah, just like Halo 5 beta, I think. Uh just Halo 5, whatever. And with Sony it's Destiny. Which are both shooters. But with Nintendo, it's Smash Brothers. If Smash Brothers is going to sell we use. If Marker 8 has is so far the most um more sold the most the fastest selling game on the Wii U at the time of this video, then Smash Brothers is gonna be even more so for the Wii U. Heck probably 3 ds as well, for all, for all we know. So there we have some system sellers, just the those two. Um how anticipated for Smash Brothers? A lot. Like a lot, a lot. I mean, with Pokemon, you know it's Pokemon, so I'm not like anticipated for because, well, it's Pokemon. We all know what's going to come. I'm going to buy it regardless. So, um, Smash 4, I really can't wait to play the crowd out of that game. It's awesome. It's going to be freaking awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to get both versions, but again, don't count myself out of it because um, I don't know which version I'm going to prioritize more. Am I going to get the 3S version first or am I going to get the Wii version first? When I have enough mo enough money saved up for it, I don't even I don't even know. So that's it for my anticipated games as of E3 2014. Uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to make another one, but probably going to be next E3 or probably I don't know tail end of, of 2014. I don't even know. All right, so see you guys later for uh, top number 82.